The Lion King. The Lion King is an animated drama comedy adventure. It is a movie that is produced and released by Walt Disney Studios. This movie is rated G, so it would be fine for the entire family. The movie has a runtime of 1 hour and 28 minutes. The Lion King is directed by Roger Allers and Rob Minkoff. It was first released in theaters on June 24, 1994. According to filmmakers in the documentary The Making of the Lion King, the film became this huge hit, so it was also released into theaters again the same year because it did not have a slot for Christmas. So that's some interesting facts just to know uh, right there. Um, I, I, I had no idea that the animated version was released twice in theaters. Uh, before I go on about the review, I'm just going to say this movie also holds a very special place in my heart because it is a movie that came out close to the time my grandfather on my mom's side passed away with colon cancer. The scene in the film where Simba is walking up Pride Rock to take his place as king after the battle with Scar and the Hyenas when it is raining and the clouds finally clear and the majestic music in the background always make, made me think of my grandfather uh, entering God's heavenly kingdom. So this, this movie has and always will hold a special place uh, in my heart uh, because of that reason. The film stars the voice talents of Matthew Broderick as adult Simba, Roland Atkinson as Zazu, Jim Cummings as Ed the Laughing Hyena, Whoopi Goldberg as Shinzi the Hyena, Jeremy Irons as Scar, James Earl Jones as Mufasa, Moira Kelly as Nala, Nathan Lane as Timon, Cheech Marin as Bonsai the Hyena, Ernie Sabella as Pumbaa, and Madge Sinclair as Sarabi, and the voice of Jonathan Taylor Thomas uh, was for young Simba. So, uh, pretty good all-star cast right there. The Lion King tells the story of Simba, a young lion cub who is to succeed his father Mufasa as the king of the Pride Lands. However, after Simba's uncle Scar, Mufasa's jealous younger brother, tricks both Simba and Mufasa and ends up murdering Mufasa, Simba, Simba is manipulated by Scar into thinking he was responsible for the death of his father and flees into exile. While growing up and living with two new friends, Timon and Pumbaa, Simba is given some valuable perspective from his childhood friend, Nala, who manages to locate Simba after many years. Simba is also shown that he has to face his past from a wise monkey named Rafiki. And in this film, uh, Rafiki, he's hilarious. I, I, it's pro he's probably my favorite character in this entire film. Uh, Simba realizes he has been running for too long and goes back to the Pride Lands to challenge Scar and to end his, his tyranny and take his place in the circle of life as the rightful king of the Pride Lands. So uh, that's pretty much the synopsis of the story. Um, one thing that really, really brought this movie to life uh, was the music in the film. The music is wonderful. Uh, the score and instrumental music is done by uh, the great Hans Zimmer. And this is before Hans Zimmer became known um, as a pretty, pretty good uh, uh, movie music uh, guy in terms of instrumental stuff. He did uh, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, he also did um, Inception. Uh, he did Mission Impossible 2. I mean, he's done a lot of great stuff. Uh, but this was like his getting started uh, point. I I'm not sure if it was this film directly that got him started or if another film before The Lion King uh, helped him get his start. Uh, the songs, the songs are done by Elton John as well as in the movie they're sung by the characters. But uh, during the end credits, the songs you hear in the movie are sung by Elton John and those songs are just just as wonderful as the songs sung by the characters in the movie. What was interesting to learn about this film is a lot of the well-named animation uh, filmmakers had no desire to work to work on this movie thinking it would just be a B movie and a dud so to speak so they all went to work on the animated film Pocahontas and were surprised by how big of a box office box office success that The Lion King actually was. 
This movie is not a digital CGI animated movie. It is drawn and made by hand on paper and pencil. This movie was, uh, was a huge and beautiful canvas. Um, and it shows us many different places and has such beauty. One thing that's great about this film is the, the color schemes of the movie are awesome and show us different moods um, and the, during the different times and stages of the film. The filmmakers actually went to Africa to see the landscape, animals, and so much more. So most of what you see on film in the movie is drawn or based off something somewhere uh, that's real. This movie has um, something for the entire family and I guarantee you, the animated, it does not disappoint. Not at all. Okay, guys, it's time to reveal my grade for this film. For the 1994 animated version of The Lion King, this film gets a solid A plus from me. Well done, Lion King from 1994. Uh, I love this film. Uh, it touches my heart in so many ways. Um, so if you haven't seen this movie, please give it a watch. Uh, so A plus from The Lion King, or for The Lion King. Guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, being a part of my channel. If you're new to the channel, go down to the bottom, click the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and be sure to share my video and give me some comments. Uh, so yeah, until then, I will see you all in the next video.